Oh, this chapter is about a sad story about my black pine. You know, we came back from a 10-day family trip. Uh, we went to Alaska on a cruise. Everything was fine. I came back, I checked everything, everything was fine. And what happened was a couple of weeks after that, I looked around and I said, how come this one has got a funny color? Well, what happened again, it's always the irrigation. The emitter on this side was fine. So when I checked, everything was fine. But the connected to the, the line was off. But I guess it was off too long. And now we have a dead tree. This is a Japanese black pine. We're probably looking at least 20 some odd years. And why am I showing you this? Well, what I'm gonna do is strip of all the dead needles and show you uh, actually how great this was. Because what happens is you really can't see the structure that I talk about uh, with the foliage in place. And if it's a live tree, I can't take it off to show you the line, right? So I thought I'd show you on this one here. Well, all the needles are gone. So now we could see the structure of this tree. Kind of a shame, it was a nice looking tree. You know, I don't get all uptight about things like this anymore because if you do, you go crazy. Well, it has all the elements we talk about. This is the roof flare, right? and it has a nice root flare that looks very solid and it anchors to the ground and then as it goes up we have nice movement this is an informal upright very classical style and it has taper which is very logical uh, wider here and then as it goes up it gets a little bit less and less right so this is a good classical uh, Japanese black, tie, black pine shape. Uh, of course, these need to be trimmed. And most of the branches are in the right place. Depends on exactly where the front is. You know, there's a couple things that was bothering me. I was looking at this zone, this is the roof flare, right? And I'm not sure if I really like this root structure this way. And this one too. It, I mean, the rest of it looked very solid, but it looks kind of tacked on, especially this one looks tacked on, so I could just take it off. This one here, I didn't like these two running. I think I'm gonna take off this one first and then see what it looks like. So I'll take this one first and more like that, right? And then I didn't like this one here. It looks kind of weak to me. I think now it looks cleaner. And well, man, I think I'll take this one off too. See, these roots should be coming out this way, not turning. Well, that's what happens when it's in a container. It makes it turn. Okay, so let me go ahead and see what happens when I cut that off. Okay, I just cut this piece off. I think it looks so much cleaner. Uh, you know, if this was alive, then we'll do a little bit more detailed work. Now, this kind of call is hard to make. What if this was attached to a big root, something like that? But can you see now, it looks cleaner, huh? 
and then if this was still alive and it's a matures this will heal over this one probably should have been cut a little bit cleaner some of these need uh, well like if this was alive this should be cut off here this is kind of sloppy looking right so a lot of little details like that so you know you could see uh, the top could have used work I would have waited until well today is the last uh, day of August and then I like to wait till October November to work on some of this when it starts to cool off actually I'm thinking about uh, a chapter on he stressed uh, Japanese black pine uh, we've had this summer that was really really bad in terms of heat I mean about almost getting close to two months of a hundred plus degrees uh, or very close to a hundred most of the time uh, so I, I see some of my Niwaki some are showing stress so I thought I'd go ahead and do that but since this one died I thought I'd go ahead and sh show you what was beneath the dead needles well it was a shame that it died but things that happens around here from time to time and well I guess no use really crying about it well that's why some people cannot run a uh, commercial bonsai business they take all this too too seriously too personally or, and freak out well you know I've been downsizing but I still got like 2,000 plants so I just go with the flow okay so see how much nicer it looks too bad there's if I could put green uh, needles on it it'd be great tree so anyway I'm gonna say oh this is the back side let's swing it back to the front I think this is a better front right here anyway uh, this is a hero saying hey don't let this happen to you but if it does you might as well get some lesson out of it okay so we'll see oh wait a minute look at the apex right can you see I think it would be so much nicer if we did that okay well I think that's that's it uh, I'm done this tree is done and this is going to the uh, trash well I don't have a trash uh, but I have a oversized compost pile all these dead trees go on there and eventually rot out and enrich the soil okay so this is hero saying goodbye I'll see you again real soon this has been the Japanese black pine that died in summer lack of water.